All right, so in the previous video, we used ARM Cortex M4 processor's ITM feature to get the prints over SWO line of the debugger, right? And this won't work if you are using Cortex M0 based STM32 microcontroller. So we can try open OCD based semi hosting technique. So that I'm going to explain in this video. By the way, Open OCD is a debugger which helps you to program and debug your code on the board. Okay, it stands for Open On Chip Debugger. So to get the prints using Open OCD debugger, you have to do a couple of settings in the project. All right, now let's go to our IDE, and uh, I have created a, a new project here. Hello World underscore semi hosting. So now first what you have to do is you have to uh, build this project. Okay, so let's build this. All right, so now the binary is generated here, the .elf file. Okay, then what you have to do is right click on this project and go to debug configurations. Okay, here. All right, and then go to STM32MCU debugging. Just expand that. Okay, here click on new launch configuration so now we are going to create a debug configuration for our .elf file so now here in the debugger you have to change the debugger now the debug probe or debug software you have to change so earlier we used stlink right so that is actually the default one for the stm32 cube ide now you have to change this to open OCD. So that is the first change you have to do. Change the debugger. Okay. And after that, go to startup. And in the startup tab, so you have to mention the semi hosting run command. Okay. And this command is this one monitor arm semi hosting enable. So just copy this. Okay. I have given this command in the resource section. So just download that. Okay go to the IDE and paste here all right and click on apply and then click on close all right and after that right click on the project and go to properties go to C++ build and go to settings go to tool settings here go to linker and go to miscellaneous and here you have to mention these linker arguments okay all right now let's copy these linker arguments and here just click on plus here and just paste that flags click ok and click apply here and apply and close and now go to your src and go to main.c and now here let's write some code okay so let me copy the same code from the earlier project. Let me copy this. All right. Now let me paste here. And here before using any print apps. Okay. So you have to add this function call in the main function. Okay. So just copy this statement. And before using any prints. So just call this function. And also you should add its prototype. So here is a prototype of that. So add the prototype here and after that one more important thing you have to do that is you have to exclude this syscalls.c from the build all right so for that just right click on syscalls.c file go to properties and go to c c++ build and check this exclude resource from build okay apply apply and close that's it okay so now this file is excluded from the build and after that just build the project so your project should build successfully here you can see that the project built successfully and then connect your hardware to the pc and after that just debug the code as stm32c application okay all right now click on switch and here you can see that uh, it went to debug perspective and 
this is a log which is uh, produced by open OCD debugger and here you can see that semi hosting is enabled so now you can get the prints right here on the console so let's just step over okay and now let's step over one more time and here it is you just got the print great so remember that while using prints using printf in semi hosting this slash n is really important okay you should not miss that the string should end with slash n when you are using printf under semi hosting with open ocd debugger so you can use this feature whenever you want to debug your project using uh, prints okay so that's about getting prints using open ocd and semi hosting uh, on stm32 cube id and i'll see you in the next lecture